Hey, 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 Cancer, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekly circle of life reading from July 18th through to the 24th. Now, this is a reading about staying in alignment within your body, mind, and spirit and bringing it all together within the heart space. And I call it the circle of life because it's there is no end to staying in alignment. We're in, we're out, we're in, we're out, but that's how we expand. So hopefully this reading helps guide you uh, to stay in alignment within your body, mind, and spirit here, Cancer. So we're going to start with your body. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. And if you guys want a reading, link is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. And know that you'll always see my face in a reading if you order one from me. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. So the Eight of Swords is in your body here. So I feel clarifying this also is the Lady of Vessels in the Temperance card. I feel that you're worried about balancing within your body. You're worried that you're not going to be able to create what you want from your body. You're not going to be able to manifest the vision that you want. You're not going to be able to manifest uh, emotional balance. Your mind is just all over the place here temperance it's like you're trying to be patient but you feel like there are obstacles that you need to overcome you're worried about money you're worried that you know you're not getting enough attention attention from others as far as love is concerned okay the lady of coin here and the hierophant so you may be worried about a Taurus in your life because we do have Taurus energy a couple of times here. You just, you have a lot on your mind. I feel like a lot of what's on your mind is also expressing itself through the body. And this may be part of your worry. I feel like you intuitively know this. But there has to be a a higher wisdom that's sort of inserted in your body. You, I feel like the spirit over here needs to be aligned with your body. And this is going to help connect your body and mind. So everything flows. So the spirit here is an integral part of you staying in alignment this week, big time. Within your mind, you really have new love on your mind, but you also have you know, five of pentacles and the hanged man. So you feel like you're not valuable as far as finding love. You feel like you're losing value. That you're lacking something and therefore will not be finding love. So you're doing a lot of ruminating, going within. And I feel like though, you're overthinking. I'm getting an overthinking vibe with this four of swords here. You're holding down emotions with regard to this. Feelings of lack. The world card. Some of you, you may have moving on your mind. But the heart is standing out. The two of swords. You may feel stuck. You may feel like you can't see the wisdom in and why you're not finding love. Some of you are wondering why you're not finding love. And this is really consuming your mind and showing in your body here. You need to keep on keeping on. That's what I'm feeling. You need to know that once you overcome the, the obstacles within, which I feel like cancer, it, you're your own obstacle you're going to be getting the attention. I feel like you do and you're not realizing it with the Six of Wands here. You're wondering why you don't get attention, but you are. Money may also be on your mind. Let's get one more for your mind. Yeah. Eight of Wands. You're feeling like you put a lot of work and effort into yourself in order to feel more valuable if you notice the hangman is losing coins here. So this is how I, I feel that you're feeling, that you're losing value the more time that passes. 
So you're trying to look at this from a different perspective in order to gain the wisdom from whatever it is that you're experiencing now. How you're seeing yourself with relation to love and finding a new partner, this is consuming your mind. A need to seek that higher wisdom is present here. So with, with the spirit, you have the ten of vessels, the five of wands, the Six of Vessels, and the Ace of Wands. So Spirit is really trying to nurture you here to heal these wounds. Because whatever wounds that you're holding from the past is a huge reason why you're viewing yourself in such a... I don't know, a warped way. And I say that... Because I don't feel like you're seeing yourself the way that others see you. I don't feel that you see your beauty. I don't feel that you see your worthiness. But Spirit is trying to show you. Feel this emotional fulfillment within. And this is what's going to fire you up. This is what's going to help manifest what it is that you want to manifest. You may be paying too much attention to what others are saying. And Spirit's trying to make you aware of that too. The star card is healing. The more that you heal, the more confident that you will feel. The Three of Pentacles. I feel that by connection with Spirit, you're going to find your vision. You're going to see yourself for who you truly are. And with that, you're going to... Expand on your vision. Three of Wands. You're going to see that what you've been waiting for is arriving here. You're going to discover your soul song. You're going to discover who you are and what you have to offer to the world. In work, in love. Just in, in relationships in general. Now, with the heart space, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Seven of Pentacles here. So, bringing it all together in your heart, Cancer, this is going to lead you to direction. This is going to direct you. Your heart is going to direct you. This all starts with spirit, which is the heart is the gateway to your soul, to your connection, to spirit's connection. And this is where you'll, you'll find a very nice balance of the masculine and feminine. This is where you're going to be offered the wisdom with, in which to build upon with the Seven of Pentacles. You just need to be patient with yourself and face your fears. Spirits trying to guide you to face your fears and trying to align you with the queen of stabs with who you are and this is a magical being this is a confident being here with the queen of stabs somebody who knows how to manifest this is going to lead you to your happiness the sun card and the sun card is the happiest card in the deck this is going to cause you to take a leap of faith on yourself this is all going to start within you and this is going to bring more light to you. This is going to release resistance within you. It's going to bring you a lot of options here with the seven of vessels here, Cancer. So align with your spirit, align with your heart space, and allow your spirit to lift you up in a way that el eliminates the worry from your mind and increases your confidence here, okay? So let's get a couple of cards here. Release, ascension, and ancestors. So releasing of the past, okay, is going to lift you up because it's releasing resistance. And it's allowing 
It's allowing spirit to come in and help guide you, which is going to lead to your next level of ascension here. Connect to your ancestors. I feel that they are there to guide you as well. So, Cancer, I hope that helps to keep you in alignment within your body, mind, and spirit. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link to my Etsy shop in the description as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic week, Cancer, and don't forget to check out your end of the month reading. So you have a good one, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.